Okay, so the batteries were down here, uh, which has meant that the acid has helped rot out some of the metal work there, which has pushed some of the fiberglass off. So nothing major, but it needs to be sorted now before it gets worse. That was the store for one battery, and the other battery just laid across there. Um, and there was a double switch battery switch there, which um, was really awkward to get to. It's really awkward to get to anywhere down there. So I'm not going to put the batteries there. I don't like them inside the cab anyway, because uh, that's going to give you, if they're gassing, they're going to fume me to death. So I'm going to put them outside and underneath there. I'm thinking go, maybe go in here. We've got a, a nice sturdy area. This is underneath the self draining deck. It's pretty dry under here. Uh, it's pretty good. You've got quite a bit of room. So I reckon I can fit them in this area here. That's the exhaust pipe for the engine. And I'm also thinking put a little diesel heater in here. So I'm going to have a diesel heater maybe over here in the corner. Batteries up the front. A couple of uh, Numax Leisure batteries, 110 batteries. Uh, then everything running forward into the engine compartment underneath here because we've got the engine under here. So we've got the engine compartment here. So I can run it all the way through and I think I'll be okay. And then once I get the heat going in here, then that'll help keep the whole lot dry as well. The, the residual heat from any of uh, the heat burning in the back, pushing hot air forward into the cabin, means that the whole lot will get dried out so that's uh, that's a plan that is a plan that's the plan I'm doing going to do anyway so that gives you an idea of how much room there is M wasted room under there actually uh, none of it was being used uh, none of it used for storage or anything so it's uh, it's worth cleaning it out and having a look